With the detection of 12 new cases, the number of dengue cases reaches 17 in Tanglebay. Chief Minister Bobby invites JC ILPs for talks to resolve the ILP issue. Court says Irom Chanu Sharmila is not guilty and acquits her of the charge of attempt to commit suicide. Prahlad Singh Patel asserts that BJP will form the next government in Manipur. Former MP Kim Gangte resumes as the president of Manipur Pradesh Trinamool Congress. And Mary Com tells her sons that she was molested and wants to build a society where girls can be safe and respected. Hello and welcome to Impact News. You're watching Primetime English News and I'm Premi Thangjum bringing you the top stories. 12 more dengue cases were detected today, bringing the number of cases in the state to 17. Altogether, 9 men and 8 women have been detected with dengue. All the cases have been detected in Thangmaiband area. Speaking exclusively to Impact News, Health Director Dr. Okram Bibomta said preventive measures have been taken by the Directorate, like organizing awareness program, fogging medification of uh, mosquito nets and curtains. He said officials of the Directorate during survey in Thangmaiband area, especially Laurumpure Lekai, found a port of water containing Addis mosquitoes, which were killed later. Reacting to the allegations leveled by BJP MLA K H Joy Kishin, Dr. Ibomta said fogging cannot be done beyond 100 meter radius from the epicenter of the outbreak of dengue case as it will cause harmful effects to the health of the people. It may be mentioned that 54 cases of dengue were detected in Jadpur and Mori. New case, Tamad from the case, trying to among the Kapam. But a total number of cases, Tratresure, Nupana, Mapan, Nupina, Nipanka. Other Nakada and Mikubna Hom Singh, okay, Piver Talk like a village, Sang Nine, okay, surveillance at three. Poor Fogging Toba, Kanagumakana Tobu Hai. But a fogging the Lone Tobu with the Kawiti, Madi guideline, they are dead, when a fogging to Ogasi, Toxic Ogas, the Maram Zadana, Dom Kapu, the Soho and the Mada. Dr. Okram Ibomta appealed to the people of the state not to panic. He said a person will not die in the first bite of the added mosquito, but the same person needs to be careful in case he has become victim for the second time. He also appealed to all the maintain cleanliness and use mosquito nets to prevent the disease. The director cautioned the people who have recently traveled to outside the state to do medical checkup if they have fever and joint pain. <laughs> Aspirin yawa, hidak chabiru. Aspirin yawa hidak ti bix 500, action 500 can lay there. Aspirin nataba ibuprofen gumba brufen yawa, akhoi londa NSA ID hai. Masi gumba su la yawa, kwanwa sabiru damni, and a mighty samsamba parasitamon, crossing hai nabadu. Mado akhoi tra, sinabaya tai di, amkanda di akhoi ki, gold sponsing gumba taroga, masa, aying bakar, tok tok taroga, adam. Chief Minister Okram Ibobi has invited the JC ILPs for talks to resolve the issue regarding the ILP bill. Speaking at the one-day political conference at Kangabok, Chief Minister Okram Ibobi said the government is making efforts to hold a meeting with the JEC Churachanpur in two or three days. He said the issue will be resolved within the framework of the Indian constitution and the party will not work against the interests of the state. MPCC President T.N. Haukip, Deputy Chief Minister Gekhangam and leaders of Congress also attended the conference. Karino, Noina Pambana, Karino, Equina Pambana, Karino, but Okina Pamba, Naka Noina Pamba, Naka Tobushi Arab, Baraki Sambidana Yaba, Manipuda Labour, Sing the Labation Housing, Tampakta Labation Housing, Kudi Makna, Yanaba, Adugumba, acceptable Labour Billama Equi, 
পুথোক তাবনি চুরচানপুর জে সি Chief Minister Ibubi has reiterated that the Congress Party is a secular party and has always treated the hills and valley equally. Addressing a political conference at Wangjing Lakeul Community Hall yesterday, Okram Ibubi stated that it is essential for a political party to treat all the communities equally and to have a lot of patience if it wishes to rule the state. Our DNPR Minister M. Okendru expressed his shock over the statement made by Union Minister Prakash Javadekar on Imphal Ziribam Road. He said the BJP government in the centre did not allow the Manipur government to construct the National Highway 37 Imphal Ziribam Road with the meagre amount available on its own. Okendru said the road is now being constructed by BRTF. Sukhnu MLA K. Ranjit said the Chief Minister met the Prime Minister and asked him about the details of framework agreement between NSC and IM and the Government of India, but the Prime Minister refused to divulge any details. He appealed to the BJP Manipur to go to Delhi and make the framework agreement public instead of making a lot of noises in the state. Irom Chenu Sharmila was today acquitted by the court. Chief Judicial Magistrate Imphal West Lankampauk Tonsing in his order said accused Irom Chenu Sharmila is found not guilty of the charge of attempt to commit suicide under Section 309 IPC. The order said Irom Chenu Sharmila is therefore acquitted for the, of the charge of attempt to commit suicide under Section 309 of IPC. It cancelled and discharged all the bonds executed in connection with the case. The CGM Imphal West in his order also said he found the prosecution has been having failed to prove the charge against accused person of attempt to commit suicide under Section 309 of IPC with the required evidence. It may be recalled that Irom Sharmila ended her 16-year-old fast on August 9 and decided to join politics. While coming out of the court today, Sharmila told media that she will form a new political party. BJP Manipur in charge and MP Prahlad Singh Patel inaugurated the office of Bharatiya Janata Party, Langthawal Mandal, today. In his speech at the function, Prahlad Singh Patel assured the people that BJP will surely form the next government in Manipur. The function was held at Langthawal Kunjamaya Ilaika in Langthawal constituency. A boot level workers' convention was also held as a part of the function. Prahlad Singh Patel said Congress led UPA government was unable to provide LPG connections to masses by the BJP led NDA government has provided LPG connection to crores of people living even in the remotest areas. He said the center has also provided subsidized rice under National Food Security Act to the people of the country. BJP Manipur spokesperson and former chief Minister Okram Joy said Congress led UPA government misrule the country and it was experienced in Manipur too. He said Prime Minister Narendra Modi's government thinks and works for the welfare of the country. He accused the Langthabal MLA of not developing the constituency. <laughs> We lalu boga sahaja, pesan ke payah juga JP, JCP ke hel lahir apa, adik i, tekstur ke hel lahir apa, roller ke hel lahir di boleh ke gaya ni thore ya. Adik praja mayam jo, aku kongban tu mana thawa yang kau tapi kerana ni boleh pisah leh. Adik kongban kau tapi JCP lu ni mayam tu na SM itu high leh tu. Adik SM itu kongban kau pun di nanti tu. Asyik di bul tu jo thokin bayar apa pun nanti tu. SM itu tahun ni di koki lah ni apa. Oh, jauh ini orang betul lah. Mata mama dah Manipur Assembly dah. Aku lagi nongal betul lah. Khabar di mama itu thanda. Manipur Assembly lagi. Mayam pun orang tu tan lagi. Lebak tan lagi. Wapum orang betul. Ngasih di bintah orang bersila. Oh, jauh ini orang bersila. 
Convener of BJP Manipur Pradesh Election Management Committee, Thaunautam Chauba challenged the MPCC to an open debate on electronic media on the integrity of Manipur and the issue of Imphal Ziribam Road. Speaking at a political conference at Naurim Thong Laishram Kulem Lekai Community Hall, Chauba said the Congress is trying to politicize the issue of territorial integrity of the state even after Prime Minister Modi and BJP National President Amit Shah promised to protect the territorial integrity of the state. He said the chief minister should take the responsibility for the deplorable condition of the Imphal Ziribam road and ask why not a single minister or MLA visited the road. He also said the Congress party which has 51 MLAs will end up in a single digit in the upcoming assembly election. <laughs> BJP Manipur Pradesh stated that Manipur Speaker T.H. Lokeshwar has challenged the Indian Constitution and law by declaring some of the disqualification cases of MLAs while some are still reserved. Speaking to media persons, BJP Manipur Pradesh Legislature Wing Leader K.H. Joy Kishan said the party will organize a public rally against the Speaker's action from Kangempali Huidrom Lekai. He said disqualification cases are declared immediately in other states, but in Manipur, the speaker kept the cases in pending for two years. BJP Manipur Pradesh Mahila Moja President and Sumatibala executive members and youth volunteers of the party attended the press meet. The party also appealed to public to attend the rally. I am not sure about history or history. Tung Sangna disqualification case me amama sahi anni ki matakta nabkhan bhai bise Masi magna democratic belu lehen da ba Kwa Indian citizen hai na chaktok chari ba Democratic belu do lehen lagta ba madu ki mayok da sangma khung jang ni Judgment delayed to wigab ganu masi ni hajdi Justice delayed is justice denied hai ba do madu magni akwe na thamjani ki adunna Justice to delayed to wigab ganu mani pogi lai ri ba I am going to release any force to the people who are Former Outer MP King Gante today resumed as the new president of Trinamool Congress at a function held at Laisimbi Fantasy in Kanchipur. Speaking to media, Kim Gante said she will not criticize the four MLAs who recently joined the Congress leaving Trinamool Congress. The former MP said the four MLAs might have left Trinamool Congress as they were dissatisfied with the party. She said after staying quiet for two years, All India Trinamool Congress High Command appointed her as the president of Manipur. Pradesh Trinamool Congress. She said she will work hard along with other party workers for the welfare of the people. Kim Gangte said that the State Executive Committee will be constituted in coming days in view of the upcoming 2017 Assembly election. Replying to media queries, Kim Gangte said nothing has been decided yet regarding former coalition with another party and how many candidates will be fielded in the election. It may be recalled that seven candidates of Manipur Pradesh Trinamool Congress won in 2012 assembly election. One MLA died while two MLAs joined the BJP, leaving only four MLAs in the party. All the remaining four MLAs recently joined the Indian National Congress. It is alleged that the four MLAs did not tender their resignation to the party. Election contest to go to the candidate sing the post aruba pay the banana pay high was here. Trinamool Congress ki leader sing ki wakhal one. Sacrifice to bangamba. Committed oiba. Dedicated oiba. Walker sing na. They will bring a difference, a change in Manipur. Trinamool Congress ni for change ni. Party the gas mullaga. Power adu exercise to raga. Ay against the lep amabu. Nam tanaba adu gumba. Nati. Chingi tamgi. Haida na Manipur gi interest. Pazana yangani. Haiwasi mako yasurens ni. 
Works Minister Ketri Mayum Biren held a meeting over the issue of Imphal Zirabam National Highway at his office chamber in Old Secretariat. The meeting was attended by representatives of Transporters and Drivers Council and additional chief engineer of National Highway. The meeting discussed a length the works taken by BRO. Sources said the Chief Minister is likely to hold a meeting with high-ranking officers of BRO soon to discuss condition of the stretch of Imphal Ziribam Road, which has remained neglected for a long time. The sources also said in case BRO fails to repair this section of the Imphal Ziribam National Highway, the state government will think of another option to repair it to solve the problem facing the people. The meeting condemned the statement of Union HRD Minister Prakash Javadikar stating that state government is not cooperating. The Right to Information Week celebration kicked off today. The inauguration of the week was held at GM Hall, organized by Manipur Information, commissioned and sponsored by Department of Personal and Training, Ministry of Personal, Public Grievances and Pensioned Government of India. The objective of the RTI Week celebration is to popularize the RTI Act 2005 and spread mass awareness among stakeholders. Additional Chief Secretary, officials of the department attended the function. Speaking at the function, Revenue, Forest and Environment Minister, I. Himochandra said the RTI Act is a weapon that can help in bringing in transparency and accountability in the state. He said the RTI Act should not be misused as it can create problems. The celebration will conclude on October 10th. This exercise in democracy, this exercise in transparency, this exercise in accountability and governance. So when the RTI Act came, I'm sure a milestone was achieved whereby transparency and accountability in governance, whether it is the elected executive or the functionaries, either in the government of India or in the state, in the various state governments or other bodies where accountability came by. A meeting of Congress Legislature Party was held today. Chief Minister Okrami Bobi chaired a meeting. The meeting, which began at 10 a.m., discussed a new ILP bill to safeguard the indigenous people of the state. The meeting decided to officially invite JEC members for talks to break the logjam over the issue. Deputy Commissioner Taming Long M. Luikam, who is also the district election officer, has taken steps to ensure maximum participation of people in the upcoming assembly polls under systematic voter education and electorate participation. A press release issued by District Information Officer Taming Long said, under the plan, the office aims to enroll more voters, ensure free and fair poll, and makes the voters familiar with EVM, VVPAT, etc. Volunteers of JC ILPS Women's Wing today stormed the houses of two MLAs demanding presentation of ILP built in the State Assembly in its next session. A number of women volunteers stormed the houses of Kishamtong MLA Eli Bomcha and Nauria Pakang Lakpa MLA RK Anan. They first went to the residence of MLA Ibomcha shouting slogans. The MLA came out and made the women protesters. MLA Ibomcha told the protesters that he too has been demanding the implementation of ILP in the state and he will urge the government to present a new ILP built in the assembly. The members of JCILPS Women's Wing again stormed the residence of MLA RK Anan, shouting slogans demanding ILP bill. However, they came out of the house as the MLA was not home. <laughs> Administration <laughs> A 
A team of commando in Fall West arrested a carter of pre park during frisking at Uripok Sorbon Thingil on Tuesday. He is identified as Salam Suresh Singh, alias Nauton, son of S. Yumjao Singh of Kwakatil Thiamlikai. In a press release, PRO police said investigation revealed that he had come to Imphal area for collection of information regarding the movement of security forces to lay an ambush on the eve of raising day of pre park on October 8. Police today conducted combing operation in Khwairamban Bazar area. Police personnel led by Bazar Commando Unit Officer in charge Thangam Pao carried out the operation under the supervision of SP in Fall West Ning Thaujam Harujit. Nine persons without proper ID cards were taken to city police for further verification. Let's take a small commercial break. We'll be back in a short while. Keep watching Impact News. Registration Hosare MCS 2016 Gi Viva Bosi Gidamak Mo interview Yauba Special Interview Coaching the Registration Hosare October Nipanda Gitara Matoi Fauba Yuki Pung Tare Tegi Ama Fauba Experts in the Interview Tips Pigani Loyna Namens My Paklava Candidates in the Interaction Supang Tokani October Tarani Toy Gitara Taruk Fauba that Yuki Pung Mapanda Gi Ama Fauba Mock Interview Pang Tokani Nasing a similar register to Bihoro Registration Gidamak Proactive Academy of Competitive Examinations Quakatil in Father Contact to View Radiant Tutorial Yumnam Lekai Imphal, run by well-experienced CBSC school teachers. Admission open for Class 9 and 10 CBSC Submittive Assessment 2. Class starts on 6 October 2016. Class timing 4.40 p.m. to 7.40 p.m. Subjects offered English, Mathematics, Science and Social Science. Features regular unit tests, study materials, MCQ and study tour. Van service is also available. Welcome back after the break and you're watching Prime Time English News. Mary Com, six-time champion at the World Amateur Boxing Championship, Asian Games gold medalist and bronze medalist at the London Olympics yesterday shocked the world with an open letter. Mary Com, in an open letter to her sons, published by Hindustan Times as a part of social campaign, Let's Talk About Rape, revealed that she was molested. In the letter, the Olympics bronze medalist recounted the unfortunate incident, saying she was molested first in Manipur and then again in Delhi and Hisar in Haryana. The boxer also discussed about gender roles in her letter and expressed her admiration for her husband. She said her partner is a strength who walked with her through every step. The world champion also discussed the issue of racial discrimination faced by people of North East in India. The Rajya Sabha MP ends her letter with a hope of building a nation where girls are safe and respected. CPI Manipur State Council today slammed Chief Minister and Education Minister for not taking any action against the alleged Manipur University arson case. Addressing media persons, CPI Manipur State Council Secretary Dr. Morangtem Nara accused Chief Minister and Education Minister of being more focused on the upcoming assembly election than on finding out truth in the university incident. Dr. Nara along with CPI Manipur State Council members today visited the recreation hall which was destroyed by the fire on Monday night. Dr. Nara said the incident could have been avoided had the MU authorities resolved the reservation issue. He slammed Union HRD Minister Prakash Javadekar, who recently visited the state for not paying attention to the Manipur University issue. Dr. Nara said the central leaders are only interested in the upcoming assembly polls. The CPI leaders strongly condemned the burning and questioned authorities why they were unable to appoint the vice chancellor. Following the incident, all classes in the university have been halted. It may be mentioned that acting vice chancellor Professor M. Dhaneshwar submitted his resignation yesterday. Awang kita ke educational institution si dah lari tambah yad dana solon leba si dah mai cak pasisu hujuk bau bau mai kuh bau muta dana kanam tana si dah mai muta pina bau hot naba lay tre hari kedir lay pak si busa solon lay di bawah. Sukun bau makhluk yang amang tata thorup pasi di perjalanan dia bau muta. It is a great loss to us, to the society, to the people of Manipur. Lari tambah bagi awab. Knowledge tanjang itu mahu tambah. Irang si na hok sa solon lay tera bau. Administration ni saya. पूरा दिफंग वहीं लेख रहा बा अधूरा गदी 
kanana no ba university sangut pidori ba amana ma bu thajena da bagi thabak nom da lai ba sidi responsibility to be fixed to both the state and central government Teachers and students of Economics Department, Manipur University, have condemned the burning of the room of a professor of the department after breaking open the door. The protested in front of the department. The miscreants destroyed important papers in the room on the 3rd of this month. A major fire destroyed the recreation hall and some buildings on the night of October 4th. Higher level the lady was hard to sing. Sina, a sigumlaba barbaric over nature as he told him. I call me Punsinduna, pragmatic Oiba, idea me am put for Uganda, Kanan in Abudi, Economics Department is hard to sing now, Madu Toy Hexang Yawn, a supporter we Hana, and a in a Hizari, reservation policy, Matanga, Satra Moina, Atuba Matamda, Manipur University, or Troitina, a cook number, resolution Lauraga, Manguna Lady was hard to sing a civil, Lake Tama Pangan Bio. Expressing unhappiness at yesterday's incident at DM College of Science, Joint Students Union of DM College has appealed to all concerned to prevent such incidents in future. The union stated that the students are not boycotting the classes. Students are attending college as usual. The union also appealed to everyone concerned not to play politics in the college. Speaking to media, representatives of the union stated that Mayang Langbam Kanglay Maite from DM College of Science is a self-nominated general secretary in charge and his statement to media will create misunderstanding among the students and affect the academic atmosphere. They demanded that he should apologize at the earliest. Join student union DM College na class boycott tau bagi wa family kide ngarang DM College of Science ki campus ta kanlay senior ba thoki ba do DM join student union DM College na nongai tiba fong tu ai matung da ju amuk hanna taw dana ba mayam puna hona mina si aduga mathong marang khang da ba satar khara punjal laga joint student union dm college taklam dana jac ama semjal laga college of home class boy ko tokshan ba asi joint student union na yaning de college of home boy ko tokhi ba adugi convener em kang lai maitai numit ninni gi manung da joint student union dm college ta la le hai jaga da bani matung tar pa academic atmosphere da tholak pa phata ba punna mak jac ase ki convener m kanglai maitai na responsibility punna mak pu gada bani an awareness program on child sexual abuse and child and services was held today at Gebol High School, Tera Bazar. The program was jointly organized by Child Land and Child Welfare Committee in West. Several resource persons spoke on child sexual abuse and the services provided by Child Land. The third branch of Pantoibi Housing Finance Company Limited was opened today at Anambol Foyting. Professor Amar Yumnam of Economics Department, Manipur University, inaugurated the branch. The company has opened its branch at Moirang and Kakching. Film Forum Manipur has announced the nominees of the 4th Manipuri Music Video Festival, Nongin Kumhai 2016. The nominees were announced at the office of the Forum at Shankar Talkis, Lumphil. Fifteen nominees were selected for 10 music, Manipuri Music Video, Satyajit Bikis, Nangbu Thadoktuna Chatlaroi Aina, Ajit Ning Thaujas, Nangse Aigi Kanano and Mohendro Kams, Yai Yai Dum Yai have been nominated for Nongin Best Music Video. In sports news, the match between Neruka FC Sangakpam and Trao Kakathil at the 11th Manipur State League was a goalless draw. Center referee showed yellow card to Trao Kakathil's TH Shankar and SH Mairaba. The tournament is organized by All Manipur Football Association under the sponsorship of KH Ingocha Singh Memorial Trust at Imphal Polo Ground. USA Kurai will meet FC Zalin Southern Hills, while Klasa Kainau will meet Nako Nambul Mapal on the 7th of this month. In a match of the 6th Kangjam Karnajit Singh Memorial 2nd Division Football League play today, UPC Pishum Oinam Laikai bid MTSU Malom 2-1. The Sowanta and Rodnish of UPC Pishum Oinam Laikai netted one goal each in the 24th and 49th minute of the match. In another match, WSC Trounce HNSC Howray B 3-0. Six teams are taking part in the tournament organized by Imphal West District Football Association at YWC Ground Malom.
Eight rowers and two officials from Manipur will take part in the 37th Junior National Rowing Championship to be held at Kolam in Kerala from November 29 to December 4. Before we wrap up the bulletin, a quick look at the headlines once again. With the detection of 12 new cases, the number of dengue cases reaches 17 in Tamil Chief Minister Bobi invites JC ILPs to talk to resolve the ILP issue. Court says Irom Chanu Sharmila is not guilty and acquits her of the charge of attempt to commit suicide. Pralad Singh Patel asserts that BJP will form the next government in Manipur. Former MP Kim Gangte resumes as the president of Manipur Pradesh Trinamool Congress. And Maricom tells her sons that she was molested and wants to build a society where girls can be safe and respected.